So welcome to Academic Advising here in the College of Arts and Sciences and the Water School at Florida Gulf Coast University. We want to welcome you to the Ness, AKA Dunk City. This presentation is designed for students who are in the College of Arts and Sciences pursuing majors in the natural sciences. The College of Arts and Sciences and the Water School is divided into three teams, Team Natural Sciences, Team Social Sciences, and Team Humanities. The Natural Sciences Advising Team advises majors in biology, biotechnology, biochemistry, chemistry, forensic science, mathematics, physics, environmental geology, environmental studies, and marine science. There are academic advisors dedicated to your success, and you should connect with these advisors each semester while you're here at Florida Gulf Coast University. Today, we will be reviewing the degree programs that are advised by Team Natural Sciences we will be looking at degree works. We'll also be looking at the BS versus the BA degree. The minors that are advised by Team Natural Sciences, concentrations, academic milestone, registration, helpful advice, and some contact information. Screen. You can see all the majors that are advised by Team Natural Sciences. BS Biochemistry, BA Biology, BS Biology, BS Biology Accelerated, BS Biotechnology, BA Chemistry, BS Chemistry, BS Environmental Geology, BA Environmental Studies, BS Forensic Science, BS Marine Science, BA Mathematics, BS Mathematics, and BS Physics. Next, we'll be looking at Degree Works. Degree Works is a tool that we use to monitor your progress through your degree here at Florida Gulf Coast University. To find degree works, you'll need to go to fgcu.edu, click on the Gulf Line tab on that new page that pops up, and scroll down about a third of the way down the page. Select degree works, which is on the right side. You will use your FGCU email and password to log in. Please remember to have Duo Mobile installed on your phone because you'll get a push that will authorize you to log in. This will be your current audit display where you will see information relating to you and your degree. As you scroll through the degree audit tool, you will see more specific information about you and your progress through your FGCU major. So again, Degree Works is a web-based degree audit and tracking tool for students and academic advisors to monitor progress towards degree completion. When you meet with your academic advisor, we will use degree works to discuss classes and create a plan for your upcoming semester. So continuing with degree works, at the top of the audit is biodemographic information as you can see in the screenshot provided. It is important to make sure that you are double checking the information to ensure that it is correct based on the degree that you have declared on your major. Next, you see a circle which tracks your progress towards degree completion along with the various categories. On screen, what you are seeing 
are some categories as mentioned. Satisfactory completion of 120 credits, minimum GPA of 2.0, if you're a part of the university's honors program, general education requirements, university requirements, common prerequisites, major requirements, and 48 credit hours of upper level coursework. All degrees at Florida Gulf Coast University include general education. You may have completed your general education at your previous institution if you earned an AA degree in the Florida State College or Florida State University system. If that degree will be conferred at the end of this semester, make sure that you send a final transcript from your previous college to show the courses you've transferred to us. You'll notice that the degree audit is very easy to use. It shares each requirement required for a particular category. If the requirement is completed, the bullet point for that requirement will be green. If the requirement is not completed, it will be red. Or if the requirement is in progress, the bullet point will be blue. The purpose of general education requirements is to provide students a well-rounded education that touches on all aspects of science, society, and the arts. These requirements are a combination of state regulation and university curriculum. All students at the university must complete the general education requirements as outlined by their specific catalog year. The next category is the intercultural knowledge competency requirement, which we commonly refer to here at FGCU as INCIN. You are required to complete six credits of INCIN. These courses can come from the humanities or the social sciences to fulfill the six credits that are required. We track university requirements here at FGCU. These are specific to FGCU, including foreign language, college level writing skills, university colloquium, summer enrollment, and service learning. All students are required to have a foreign language. This can be met by completing two years in high school of the same foreign language or eight credits or two semesters of the same foreign language in college. If you completed your two years of foreign language in high school, but it is showing as incomplete on your degree work, make sure to send admissions your high school transcript. Students at Florida Gulf Coast University are required to complete four communication courses that includes this CLWS or college level writing skills attribute. Those courses include composition one, Composition 2, University, Colloquium, and a course of your choice. And that course of your choice can come from general education humanities or the general education social sciences. Or it might be one of your major courses. Also, you need to make a C or a high in these courses in order for them to count as complete in the requirement. A C minus does not count in this category. University Colloquium uses experiential learning to explore sustainability from a social, environmental, and personal perspective, emphasizing the interrelationships of knowledge across disciplines. If you transferred as a first time in college student or as a lower level transfer student with less than 60 credits, you'll need to complete 80 hours of service learning. If you're an upper level transfer with more than 60 credit, you have an AA degree or your first time in college student with an AA degree from a Florida State College or a Florida State University, you will be required to complete 40 hours of service learning. If you have any questions about service learning, the Office of Service Learning and Civic Engagement is dedicated to assisting students with service learning and how to complete and track those hours. Next, 
common prerequisites are common across the state university system. You will need to earn a grade of C or higher in all of these courses. Common prerequisites vary from major to major, with some majors having many common prerequisites and others having only a few. Remember that in your major, just like in your common prerequisite, you must earn a minimum grade of C or higher for all major coursework. The state university system requires civic literacy. It applies to all students entering during or after fall 2018. You may complete this requirement by completing American National Government, AMH 2020, I'm sorry, that's POS 2041, or U.S. History since 1877, AMH 2020, from fall 2018 or forward, or by completing the requirements, or you can also fulfill this requirement by completing the U.S. naturalization test that is offered through a testing and assessment office here at FGCU. Please note, you can also complete it through the Advanced Placement Government with a score of three, or the U.S. History AP exam with a score of four, or the CLEP American Government exam with a score of 50. Let's look at the anatomy of your degree. At the core of every degree are your general requirements, your credit hours, foreign language, summer hours, and a minimum GPA. Your major requirements are the heart of your degree. They include both lower and upper level classes that will focus on your area of study. They also include general education courses from the foundation of a degree. These courses are set by both the state of Florida, state mandate, and FGCU enhanced G, general education. They cover a wide range of topics from English to social sciences to math to ensure that students receive a well-rounded education. The number 120 is the minimum number of credits required to complete a bachelor's degree here at FGCU. Even if you have completed all of your required coursework in your major, please stay in touch with your academic advisor each semester to make sure that you are completing all of your necessary general education, common prerequisite and major requirement, and that you get to the 120 credits necessary to complete a bachelor's degree, including a minimum requirement of 48 credit hours at the upper level. Upper level courses include any courses that have the 3,000 or 4,000 number. All majors have some 3,000 and 4,000 level courses, but not all majors have enough 3,000 and 4,000 level courses to get you to the required 48 credits. If your major doesn't have enough credits to get you to 48 credits of upper level credits, you may consider electives in your major or courses outside your major. You might consider minor or extra internship experience. These internship experience are a great way to add to your resume, learn about your profession, or learn how your major can be used in particular professions. Some major require that you complete an internship and other majors do not. But if you want some extra upper level credit, internship experience may be a wonderful opportunity for you to embark on. There's also the summer requirement, the minimum number of hours that you need to complete across your summer hours year of FGCU are nine credits. You'll also need to complete 30 of your last 60 credits here at FGCU to meet what is called the residency requirement. Now that we've discussed the important components of a degree, including general education, common prerequisites, major requirement, and the required 120 credits and the required 48 credits of the upper division. Remember your academic advisor is an excellent resource for you. We are here to help you succeed in your quest for your degree. So let's look at the Bachelor of Science, the BS degree versus the Bachelor of Arts, the BA degrees. 
the Bachelor of Science tend to focus more on the math and the science. The Bachelor of Arts degree tends to focus more on the humanities. For the Bachelor of Science, more higher level math and science courses are required. For the Bachelor of Arts, more requirements in the liberal arts are required. The Bachelor of Science is more specialized. The Bachelor of Arts is more general. The Bachelor of Science is a better option if you know the kind of job that you want. The Bachelor of Art is a better option if you have a specific field, but no particular career yet. So now that we've looked at the differences between both degrees, here are the degree programs broken down on the department that are advised by Team Natural Sciences. The Department of Biological Sciences offers the BS in Biology Accelerated, the BA in Biology, the BS in Biology, and the BS in Biotechnology. The Department of Chemistry and Physics offers a BS in Biochemistry, a BA in Chemistry, the BS in Chemistry, the BS in Forensic Science, and the BS in Physics. The Department of Mathematics offers a BA, BA in Mathematics and a BS in Mathematics. Our Water School offers three undergraduate degrees, a Bachelor of Arts in Environmental Studies, a Bachelor of Science in Environmental Geology, and a Bachelor of Science in Marine Science. On screen, you are seeing the minors that are advised by Team Natural Sciences, Biology, Chemistry, Climate Change, Earth and Space Science, Environmental Education, Geology, Mathematics, Physics, and Statistics. Please note that there are three minors that are offered by the Water School, Climate Change, Environmental Education, and geology. So there are two degree programs that are advised by Team Natural Sciences that has what we call concentrations or where a student needs to declare a concentration. The BA in Environmental Studies carries three concentrations, Ecology and Environmental Assessment concentration, which requires 15 credit hours, environmental education concentration, which requires 15 credit hours, and the water resources science and management concentration, which also requires 15 credit hours. For the BS in biology, there are four concentrations. A student can only declare one. There's a microbiology concentration, which requires 19 credit hours the organismal biology and ecology concentration, which requires 18 credit hours, and the pre-professional biology concentration, which is our largest, where we have most of our students declaring that concentration. And finally, our newest concentration effective this fall 2023 is the marine biology concentration, which requires 18 credit hours. So you may be wondering, how do I declare this concentration? It is based on your interests and also your career aspiration. So if you are fascinated by looking at objects under a microscope, such as viruses and bacteria, when you meet with your academic advisor, you would want to declare the microbiology concentration. If you are passionate about working with plants and animals or have an aspiration to go to vet school, then you would declare the organismal biology and ecology concentration. The pre-professional biology concentration, if you aspire to go to medical school, dental school, pharmacy school, PA school, and ophthalmology school, then you would declare that concentration. When you meet with your academic advisor, we will discuss with you in detail regarding the marine biology concentration. In fall of 2017, the Department of Biological Sciences and the Department of Chemistry and Physics made a decision to implement what we call academic milestones for these majors that are displayed. The BA in Biology, the BS in Biology and Biotechnology, BS in Chemistry, BA Chemistry, BS Chemistry, 
BS Forensic Science and BS in Physics. Let's take a look at those academic milestones. So the Department of Biological Sciences would like to see students by at least 30 credits complete either General Biology 1 with a lab or General Bio 2 with a lab by at least 45 credits. By 60 credits, there's an expectation that the student will have complete or enrolled in one of the upper level PCB courses. PCB 3023C, Cell Biology, PCB 3043C, General Ecology, and PCB 3063C, Genetics. The Department of Chemistry and Physics would like to see students complete Gen Chem 1 and the lab by at least 30 credits, Gen Chem 2 and the lab by at least 60 credits, Organic Chemistry 1 and lab by 75 credits, Organic Chemistry 2 and the lab by 90 credits, and Analytical Chemistry and the lab by 90 credits. If the student is majoring in physics, there's an expectation that the student will enroll by at least 30 credit complete general physics one and the lab by 30 credits, general physics two and the lab by 60 credits, and by 90 credits, PHY 3101, 3221, and 33. 3323 by 90 credits, and by 90 credits, PHY 4821L. Please remember that for timely degree completion, students must complete all program milestone. Searching for classes. So how do you look for classes? You would start by looking in the course schedule, which we refer to as a blue and green screen. You would go to fgcu.edu, click on golf line, scroll all the way to the bottom of the web page to the area that says helpful resources, where the helpful resources are outlined in red. Select course schedule and the blue and green screen will populate as can be seen on screen. Registration. You'll register by going to the FGC webpage and selecting Golf Line. You will log in using your FGC email and password and using our two factor authentication system, Duo Mobile, to enter the site. Click on the tab that says Student, then click on Registration. Once you click on Registration, then you click on Add Drop Classes and then select the term for your registration. A worksheet will open with rectangles at the bottom of the screen. This is where you will enter the CRNs and click Submit Changes to register. If you have a course that has a lecture in a lab or a co-requisite, enter the CRN for both sections and then click Submit Changes. If the course is open and there are no errors, you'll be registered for your courses. Let's talk about the waitlist. Please note that not all courses carries a waitlist. If courses are closed and there's a waitlist available, you may use a drop down menu to add yourself to the waitlist. Please note that once you enter the waitlist, you and if you get a, that system generated email from the office of the registrar, you will have 24 hours turnaround in order to register yourself for that course. If you did not see that email and afterwards, let's say you missed that email, then you will be dropped from the wait list. Helpful advice. Please select fewer search terms for the best result. Please start by selecting the correct term. You can search by department, prefix, and course number, or even by course attribute when searching for general education courses. When you search, you will be able to see available courses, maximum number of seats in the courses, how many seats are available, and if filled, whether a course waitlist is available. 
you will see the title of the course, but please make sure that you are reading the comments as it contains valuable information. You will also be able to see when and when the course meets. You can also click on the CRN and it will share the course description and the prerequisite for that course. The CRN is the number in blue that you will need in order to register for your courses. We would prefer or we highly recommend that you use Google Chrome when, when using our applications on campus. Please make sure that you're opening three separate tabs, course schedule, degree works, and registration. There is another registration tool called a, uh, called a schedule planner, which is available in Golfline. However, during orientation, schedule planner is not the best way to register for courses. During orientation, it would be to your advantage to use a schedule search, that is the blue and green screen and register through Golfline. We're an appointment-based office. You can make an appointment online or call our office to schedule an appointment. You can also do so in person. Before coming to your advising appointment, always make sure that you prepare your questions prior to that meeting. It is important that you arrive on time. And if you need to cancel or reschedule that appointment in advance if needed, we recommend that you meet with an advisor at least once per semester to make sure that you're staying on track. For contact information, you can schedule an appointment with us by calling 239-590-7196. We are located in Seidler Hall 109. Or via the CAS advising webpage, you can also schedule the appointment. The, meal, the email address for natural sciences is naturalsciences at fgcu.edu. This is a great resource for a small question like you received an error while you're trying to register. We strive to answer all those emails within 24 hours, but please allow several days during our busier times. The Natural Science Advising Team would like to take this moment to thank you and welcome you to FGC and welcome to the NEST. We look forward to working with you.